and happy sketching. Now it's getting a bit more serious. Whereas we used to concentrate on lines and perspective, we often neglected proportions. Most of the time this is not so bad because if you work observationally, it usually works itself out. But the human brain has ten a tendency to interpret things according to their importance. And that means that important things are often displayed larger. Here is a technical term for this. It's the perspective of meaning. And you can see it very clearly in this child's drawing. The head is far too big, the body far too small, fingers too long. But we keep as much distance as possible from children's drawings because they are often toxic in a professional environment. We draw because we want to evoke a, re a realistic idea. Exactly. You already know that not with realistic fin finished pictures, but with catches in a loose style so that the, the viewer can call up in his mind a picture he experiences as perfect. If we want to draw things, or especially people whose character traits depend on proportions, we have to get them right. To do this, we need the help of ray theorem. In this illustration, you can see how it works. The most important thing to remember, to remember is the picture plane. You can see here, I'm standing in front of a window that mirrors. This is the picture plane. Exactly, the picture plane is a flat surface. So imagine a plane of glass standing vertically between you and the object you want to draw. And you can imagine your sketch as if it were a drawing on the plane of glass. This means that however you measure, you hold the pencil so that it is always flat on the picture plane, not tilted towards the depth. You can't tilt the pencil into the space. A bit hard to imagine. It can be. That's why we're going to do an exercise. Look at the picture carefully, we will help you to understand the exercise later on.